At first, I'm like, damn, he bouncing. He won't stand in one spot. He's just keep him bouncing. I said that he kept, he was, he was throwing you off with yeah. the fame. I said that he kept, he was, he was throwing you off with the, so which is why I kept telling you to bring him back. And Chow, I just went. At first, I'm like, D keep bouncing. He won't stand in one area. Shucker Stevenson seems enraged when Terrence Crawford said that he will be defeated by Devin Davis. Fans felt that Shakur failed to increase the intensity during his first title defense against Andrew Ward this month, coasting to a victory. Shakur was trying to cut the tape when he heard Drew say to go to the right, so I did. He began going to the right during a post-fight discussion with friends Terence Crawford and Andre Ward, both of whom are well known for their boxing. This is the second time in a row that Shakur has been criticized for not entertaining enough. But Crawford gave Acumen Stevenson a direct assessment, noting that he wanted to see more punches thrown and aiming for a higher offensive output. This frank behind-the-scenes moment was photographed by top rank Crawford said that although Shakur was getting good body shots, he wasn't firing enough punches, depending more on movement than hand activity. Crawford also urged Shakur to use his jab more effectively, pointing out that Shakur was just following his opponent instead of jabbing his way in. Crawford stated that the opponent's feints were annoying, which is why he kept pushing Shakur to pass out again, and Chab told him to stop using his jab. You know I had him at one point when I started picking his face, but it was like he just let go of your hands. You were picking up the pace with your movement, but your hands weren't there. Stevenson responded by saying that Hamilton was only there to survive. He has received backlash from fans, analysts, and other fighters, but he is still determined to defend himself on social media. The 27-year-old is navigating free agency and has conversations with a number of promoters who are eager to work with him. Although his opponent's identity is unknown, he has expressed interest in facing the New Jersey native has taken to social media, engaging in heated exchanges with members of the boxing community. Bud and Fearless have a close relationship because they were both fighters for top rank in the past, and Crawford stepped up to support Stevenson. Crawford also reminded Stevenson that suffering criticism is something that all greats have faced. In an interview with Brian Mook, Crawford said as much. Crawford advised his Earth partner that those people weren't really fans and that he shouldn't worry about them. But he also stated that it didn't matter because he looked sharp and triumphed admirably. All the greats had experienced such periods of hardship. People will always talk poorly of the great ones. There was a time when Ali was thought of as a boring fighter, and in the second half of Floyd Mayweather's career, he encountered a great deal of hostility from the public. Fighters' criticism is a natural part of the sport, and whether they like it or not, it can sometimes be the result of their own behavior. Crawford is right when he says that Stevenson should ignore the talk and focus on giving an incredible performance in the next fight. Meanwhile, we know that Shakura stated that he wants to face the biggest names in his division, but at just 27, nobody has accepted the challenge thus far. The WBC lightweight title is presently held by this refined defensive boxer, who has already won championships in three weight classes. The 135 and 140 pounds divisions are with elite talent. Talent including well-known combatants like Vasil Lomachenko and Pervin Davis Tayobo Lopez and Devin Haney Stevenson's resume lacks a prominent name, which he hopes to make up for in his next fight by going after a unification match against either Lomachenko or Tank Davis. However, Lomachenko's promoter has hinted that the Ukrainian fighter is likely to get the fight with Davis after Stevenson's training partner, Terence Crawford, has personal experience with the difficulties in landing that big career fight. He waited years for his undisputed lightweight showdown with Errol Spence Jr., which he would ultimately win and his fame to new heights.
Stevenson has entered free agency after winning his last fight under the top-ranked contract against Ardom Heronian. This move clears a significant promotional hurdle. Crawford told his gym partner in an interview with Fight Hype that the key to making these fights happen is patience. He said, I just tell him they take time to make those types of fights, especially when the guys are on two different playing fields, one top rank and one signed with Al Heyman, and they're not doing business right now. Crawford said, you just have to be smart and let everything play out and pan out how it's going to everything else will fall in place. This will allow him to seek the matches he wants. One of the boxing bouts in and around the lightweight category that fans have been clamoring for among the stellar talents, circling the 135 and 140 weight classifications, is Tank vs. Shakur. Devin Haney Lopez and Lino recently faced off against one other, yet there is still a stark deficiency in the amount of Marquee fights. Haney Tuf Lopez, Vesel Lomachenko, and others despite defeating Ryan Garcia. Jim Davis hasn't competed against elite opponents regularly enough. Stevenson, who is keen to face Lomachenko, finds himself in a similar situation as the accomplished technician longs for a highly publicized victory. It is hardly surprising that Shakur Stevenson's close buddy and training partner, Terence Crawford, would back him to win a fight against a superstar like Tank. Triumphant, particularly in light of his eagerly awaited matchup with Errol Spence, he told Showtime in a separate interview that Shakur won hands down. Despite his optimism, Bud Crawford claimed that this is Stevenson's toughest test. However, he added, one thing I can say about Tank is that he's smart, he can box, and he's explosive. Fans are eager for less talk and more action if the fight were scheduled now. It would be a lightweight unification match that would further intensify an already compelling scenario by adding more belts to the men in the past. But Stevenson now has no contract with top rank and could simplify negotiations with PBC's Davis. I see that as Shakur's toughest fight because of the power everyone knows tank punching. Despite Tank declaring that Shakur is on his hit list for his next seven bouts, Stephen Shakur, despite the criticism he received online following his recent fight, Terence Crawford and Clarissa Shields contend that he performed his part and won. After Stevenson's fight against Edwin de los Santos in November of last year, supporters labeled him as dull, and they had a good point. This is when the problem started. Although winning the fight wasn't Stevenson's main goal, he nevertheless opted to avoid taking chances in the hopes of securing a victory through points. This strategy was demonstrated once again in the fight against Adam Hernandez last weekend, setting off another round of criticism for the Newark boxer. Nevertheless, Bud Crawford and Tyrone Shields intervened to support Stevenson after it seemed like the entire community turned against him criticizing him for his performance. Terence Crawford